Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It looks like we are getting to the home stretch of NBA 2K22, my team. Around this time each year, this is when we start to see a wealth of overpowered cards. And realistically, a bunch of random dudes start to get overpowered cards. So let's gaze upon the crystal ball. That is my brain, realistically. And look forward to see what we may be seeing. Keyword may be seeing this week in NBA 2K22, my team. I do say may because every time I do these prediction videos, people just call it clickbait. <laughs> Even though I'm literally just guessing, but you know, it is what it is. Ah, strap in. All right. So I don't think we see really any content tomorrow. I don't believe anyway. Um, aside from the vault's going to change and put the original cards back in there. So Dumas will be back in TT offline and Bradley Beal will be back in triple threat, the 100. So obviously both of the reward cards will be there. Is it worth playing? I'm sure. I mean, if you want any of the cards, I tried forever to get Dumas. I can't even get Bill Lambier, but if I'm going to get anyone, it's going to be Bill Lambier. I swear to God, that's just how my luck is. Other than that, though, I really don't think we're going to see anything aside from, you know, another one of the, you know, season six cards that we're going to be getting. The Zero Gravity, which I forgot the name of just now. <laughs> who could it be honestly i have no idea there seems to be no rhyme or reason to them releasing these cards um so i don't know it would lead me to believe that it's probably going to be a current player um i don't know who it could be i truly don't know i'm not even gonna attempt to guess it's gonna be our first pink diamond one it's going to be disappointed for sure like disappointing factor is going to be high on this one because we're all stoked for it so i really don't know who it could be who it's going to be it'd be cool to see like a big time star either past or present though i don't believe that's the case outside of bill russell and then the early game guys like lonzo luca uh shack and stuff like that i don't think we're gonna see any high tiered stars i heard a lot of people were saying Hedo for some reason. I don't know why they're saying Hedo. I don't specifically have any reasoning for it, but I would be willing to say that if we're going to get a Hedo, it's going to be the Opal. One of the Opals will be Hedo, if that's the case. Um, as far as the Dark Matter, I don't know. The Pink Diamonds, I also really, truly don't know. Like, I have no idea what the Pink Diamond's going to be. It could be anyone. I don't know. We're going to see two Pink Diamonds, two Opals, and a Dark Matter, which I'll touch on in the rest of the video. Uh, Tuesday. Once again, we're going to see another pink diamond. I truly have no idea who that's going to be. Um, I can like hope and dream like my boy Keon Dooling or Michael Petrius. I don't believe either of those things are going to occur, but I can dream. I actually i am going to say that I think Jalen Green is going to be one of them. I don't know why I think that, but I really do. I think uh, Jalen Green is going to be one of them. Don't know why. Just kind of feel it in my bones that it's going to be Jalen Green. Just makes sense to me. I, I don't know how accurate that is, but it makes sense. As far as the Tuesday packs go, uh, dude, you, I have no idea. I truly don't know. 2K is actually really good this year and not being, or not this year, but this season and not being able to predict what they're doing throughout the week. Like typically I'm able to predict like, okay, we're probably getting this card. We're probably getting this set. This season, they've done a good job of kind of throwing me off. I have no idea. Looking at the packs themselves, um, we've gotten three. I guess Kawhi is technically not a current player because it is a Spurs version of Kawhi, but we've gotten three current players right here and three of which are you know old cards that they've reskinned into diamonds right so i think we're probably going to get a classic player like michael cooper i really don't know who it's going to be though i'm trying to think of players who haven't received a card in a while like let me hit 2k db and check the original base set because that's kind of a good barometer for the cards that we're going to be seeing um let me look here. Let's take a little peek behind the iron curtain here in the base set. And let's let's take a look. See here. Let's see who needs a card. Let's go back to day one. Let's kind of look through all these day one guys. Jamal Wilkes would be cool. That would be sick. Kelly Chapuka would be tight. I don't think either of those things are going to occur, but it would be cool to see both of them. Like I said, I hold my doubts on whether that is going to happen. You know what? Mitch Richmond. I'm going to say Mitch Richmond is getting a card in this set. I'm going to say Mitch Richmond's going to be the pink diamond. Well, the pink diamonds have all been current players. 
So I would say Mitch Richmond's going to get an opal. We've gotten three straight big man opals. So I would say Mitch Richmond's going to get an opal. Let me lock that in real quick. Mitch Richmond for the opal for sure. Um, I'm going to say Rui Hachimura for pink diamond. Don't say, no, no, you know, I don't know why. It just kind of, it feels right. Honestly, it does. Uh, as far as the diamond, I think it'll be another older player here. Let me just pick someone random. <laughs> it just kind of sounds right. Uh, uh, Otis Birdsong. Yeah, you know what? Otis Birdsong. That that sounds that sounds accurate. I think Otis Birdsong would make sense. Or it'll be Cliff Hagen. Once again, can't tell you why I think that. Um, yeah, you know what? Those both make sense. Or it'll be Kenyon Martin. It'll be the same as his Opal from not too long ago. Or like Dan Issel would make sense too, actually. So any of those guys would be accurate. I actually really would like a Spencer Haywood. I don't think that's going to occur, but it'd be really cool to see Spencer Haywood get a card, especially after winning time. You know, he's kind of resurged in popularity, at least partially uh, due to my boy Avon Barksdale's portrayal of him. Uh, I think his name is Wood Harris in real life, but he's just Avon to me. So it's fine. It'd be cool to see like Austin Carr, or, like Jojo White, someone who hasn't really gotten shine this year. But like I said, it kind of remains to be seen. I, I really don't know. As far as the dark matter goes, uh we've gotten pretty well rounded here so we've gotten a point guard we've gotten a small forward we've gotten a shooting guard and we've gotten a power forward so i'd be willing to say center um as far as who that could be that would be cool though because it would be nice to have like an accessible very good center that you can get for relatively cheap i want to say will chamberlain but he's too much of a pack seller so i really don't think it'll be will but it'd be really cool if it was um carl anthony towns would be another person that i wouldn't be shocked he would fit right in with the takeoff packs so he's someone that could easily be in the mix here um mikhail is another one where i could easily see him being in the mix moses malone would be my pick as far as like what i would want to see um but i actually do think moses malone might be the dark matter reward uh, at the end of the season six grind, I don't have anything, absolutely anything to back that claim up. It's just kind of up here. It's just what I feel. It's how I feel. Yeah, it would be really cool to see that. I can't say for certain if that's accurate. I don't know if we're going to get a new Moses Malone, but I feel like it's inevitable that we will get one. And I think it'll be sooner rather than later. So I would say the two best bets here for the Dark Matter on Tuesday are going to be Carl Anthony Towns and Moses Malone. As far as Wednesday, um, Outside of another zero gravity reward, nothing probably, I would say. Um, XP stuff would be my guess. I don't know who it could be as well. Um, I mean, it kind of really depends what we see from the pink diamonds. Um, it's been a while since we got a big man. The last one was Bill Russell. So I'd be willing to say one of the upcoming ones are going to be a big man. Oh, yeah, we got Rick Smith. I forgot about Rick Smith. This is how you can tell these videos are not scripted, dude. I just straight be forgetting stuff like in the middle of the video. Also, shout out to this shirt, dude. It's like the thinnest shirt I've ever worn in my life. My nips are rock hard. It's very distracting. I may not be the best my team YouTuber. I may be the worst my team YouTuber, but I can say with utmost certainty that no other my team YouTuber has referenced their nipples being hard in a video. I can say that with certainty. Find me an example. I'm not going to give you anything, but find me an example. Yeah, I don't know. George Mikan. I feel like Mikan can come through and get a card at some point uh, for sure. I don't know, you know, where that's going to come from. But, uh, yeah, point guard would also be good, too. I mean, Vinny is technically a point guard, but he's a shooting guard primary. So I don't know. I have no idea. Thursday, we're going to get our teases, which I think are going to be huge um, because I believe the Friday packs are going to be ridiculous. I think they'll also tease who the Dark Matter reward is, too. So we'll find that out Thursday. That's my own opinion on the matter. It's going to be another Opal reward. They'll be underwhelming. I don't know who it's going to be. I hope it's Mark Eaton don't ask me why i just do <laughs> i just really hope it's mark eaton i i have no reason to think that i just you know shout out to mark eaton as far as the dark matter reward i said moses malone i touched on that already the other person i think that it could be is grant hill grant hill and moses malone would make sense grant hill is kind of a pack seller but he's typically a pack seller in a different time period at this point being we have so many elite 
shooting guard slash small forwards unless they put out a point guard grant hill i don't think he's really like moving the needle on backs so that would be kind of another person to look at now as far as the content on friday now i think it's signature series personally i could be wrong we could get another large scale promo 2k does do that occasionally um they do like to do back-to-back promos we could also see an out of position set on friday that wouldn't be wholly unsurprising I'm going to wait on speculation on who may be in these sets based solely on what we actually are revealed. Um, Because I I don't want to say, yeah, out of position and then go on a tangent for like five, six minutes about what out of position cards I'd like to see. And we will see when in actuality, we're just going to get iced out three or something. (laughs) Oh, man, I don't know. I'm thinking signature series, though. It's been a little while since we got one since the Luca ones and they like these. And uh, they're kind of the perfect set to close out a season because, like, no one really gives a shit anymore. So, it's 2K has done a pretty good job of not retreading cards. So, my prediction's not going to make a whole lot of sense here, but I would be willing to say there's no shot we don't see Invincible Kobe this week. Maybe I'll be incorrect about that. It's possible. Um, but I really do think we're going to see invincible kobe or braun as the next invincible card and i feel like there's no possible way that it's not kobe or lebron but i think kobe makes more sense because the last kobe we got was back at all-star break so well technically we got a diamond kobe that doesn't really count though i would be willing to say there's no way we could also see a t-mac too that's why i think out of position makes sense because they'll throw in like a point guard t-mac and then a you know out of position kobe that can play shooting guard point guard or point guard shooting guard or something of that nature that's invincible uh that would make the most sense to me i think a lot of people have that same you know mindset or grind set i hate that word so much i really do (laughs) i hate it kobe makes too much sense dude It, it does i i don't i don't think there's any other person or any other card that would make more sense than kobe bean bryant at this stage in the game for an invincible they're definitely going to drop another invincible because they need to increase pack revenue the odds are going to be probably just as bad a blight maybe slightly worse i don't know they can't be worse those were horrendous they really can though eh, i don't know signature series it's tough to say like who would actually be involved in those sets because they're very random you would have to know who the main player was to really guess who the rest of the cards were so i'm not gonna say that i know for certain who would be in that set i don't know Uh, we could see grant hill even in that set honestly since they just gave us a free grant hill that's why it leads me to believe that we're getting a grant hill in some capacity now if it's out of position i would say point guard t-mac for sure uh, he would definitely be in the mix and I could see like even a point guard Grant Hill point guard power forward probably Grant Hill would make a lot of sense honestly at this stage here's a shout and a card that I don't think we're going to see but I'm just going to say it just in case it happens I'll feel really cool point guard Robert Williams sure why not do I have anything to back up this claim no I just like to say things dude it's fine why not sure like who cares why not let it let it fly at this point like it doesn't really matter at all in any meaningful capacity so go point guard andrew bogut too like who cares point guard thon maker is coming at some points just not 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 this time also we always get point guard lamar odom because he was like the true point forward so it wouldn't shock me to see him in the mix as well i don't know monday Now, Monday is when most likely we're going to get our next series of playoff moments cards. Uh, We got a few of the challenges already. I've done zero of them. Kind of remains to be seen. Obviously, there's more games that are going to be in the mix for these cards. But let's just kind of speculate off what we know right now. Um, Giannis has been performing well, but they will never give us a free Giannis card. And if they do, it'll be trash. This is how 2K goes. Um, John Morant still even though we've already gotten one is a good contender to get another card here's a random shout somebody that's been playing pretty well that might actually give us a card because we only get four of them this time al horford weird but i think it's not completely out of the realm of possibility drew holiday would be another one as well um whether we actually get those cards that remains up in the air but uh i would be excited to see that Jay Crowder is another one. 
um yeah maxi cleaver would be sick dude that would be pretty cool honestly that would be pretty tight I i'll be honest i would be pretty stoked about that i i really would that would be cool jimmy butler could very easily get a card as well uh, luke is another example of somebody they would absolutely never give us under any circumstances and obviously like we have to see who's going to win these series um i think the warriors are probably going to win theirs that's my assumption anyway um especially after last night's affair so that would lead me to believe that we're getting someone from the warriors out of the sex we're probably gonna get one player from each of the or no wait yeah one player from each of the uh winning teams you can tell my brain just froze there so i would say off the warriors i honestly don't know who it would be truly i i don't uh because we just got jordan Poole already so i'm not really sure like who we would even get like uh, we got cool. I mean, maybe Wiggins. He's been okay, I guess. But like the only players that would be de deserving of a playoff moments card are cards that are a pack sellers that they would never give us for free, like Steph Curry. Um, we've already received like Jordan Poole. They're not going to give us two dark matter Jordan Pools. I mean, they might. They quite possibly might. Actually, I wouldn't even be surprised. We just got a Draymond Green too, so it's probably not him. So they'll probably just have to wing it and just go with Wiggins, just cause. Um, Unless they want to go with, like, Kaminga or Otter Porter, but I really don't think that's going to be the case. Bring on Kavon Looney. My man had four points the other night. He's worth it. He's, yes, he deserves it. He deserves it. Bring on Kavon Looney. Come on. So I would say it has to be Wiggins. Um, none of the other series are really at the point where I can say certainly that one team or the other is going to win, so I can't say at all, you know, who's going to be in the running for those cards. But I would say if the Heat do win, which I believe they probably will, but I have no idea. Um, I would say Adebayo. Bam. Bam is probably the most likely. Um, and if the Suns win, it's probably Aiden. Oh, it's probably Chris Paul. They love giving us Chris Paul cards. God, I hate it. Um, but I'd say Bam is probably most likely there. Um, Jimmy kind of sells packs and moves the needle, so I don't know necessarily if they would give us a Jimmy, especially because they just released one not too long ago, so Bam would make the most sense. And... He would be really good. But regardless, I would say do these challenges. Like these playoff moments cards were not very good, um, which is why I haven't completed them yet. But at the same time, like, especially if you're trying to build all time teams, dude, Jalen Brunson is your best option, probably for the remainder of the year in regards to Mavericks point guards. Like, unless we get an out of position Josh Howard, which is never going to happen, but I can dream, Jalen Brunson's probably your best shot. Quite honestly, outside of Luca, obviously, but they don't really don't have a wealth of shooting guards either. So you kind of need Jalen Brunson regardless. So, ah, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. It's really cool when I get the comments and stuff because people are right. Um, shout out to everybody who's been correct. The Dr. J one was really impressive because I just really didn't think that was going to happen. But, you know, it is what it is. So I like to see the comments. So load that up with uh, theories and things you think we're going to see. And, uh, you know, have a good night, guys. Peace. Oh, yeah. Happy Mother's Day, dude. Shout out to everybody.